everybody's screaming at you, they're like, make your last phone calls, we're taking your cell phones, we're taking all of your personal belongings. And I'm just like, what's going on? And we're all just young kids looking at each other like, what's happening? My name is Alicia Caracella and I'm your veteran recruiter. So today we're gonna to talk about the time I went to basic training. So I went to basic training in Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. I was 19 years old. It's honestly the scariest moment of my, of my life, like at the time, not anymore. You go on a bus, they put you on an airplane, they just drop you off on Fort Leonard Wood on base and they bring you into a building and everybody's screaming at you. They're like, make your last phone calls, we're taking your cell phones, we're taking all of your personal belongings. And I'm just like, what's going on? And we're all just young kids looking at each other like, what's happening? We're at in processing, we're at the barracks. We don't get the phone. We don't know any of these people. Like wake up at like five in the morning so unnecessarily for absolutely no reason. We're just standing in lines. The males are getting their heads shaved. We're getting shots of penicillin. We're getting our uniforms. We're getting our boots. And then finally they tell us, okay, we're gonna let you guys call home. It's pouring rain. We have to do this on pay phones. We each get like two minutes and you gotta pray that somebody answers the phone. You gotta pray that you remembered somebody's phone number. They put us on another bus and they tell us to look down. We're not allowed to talk to anybody. We're not allowed to look out the window. Just look down right in front of you. So all these drill sergeants are yelling at us and then they drop us off again at another set of barracks. And it's what's called the shark attack. And it's just the drill sergeants yelling at you, screaming at you, making you like do ridiculous stuff with your duffel and like just all these crazy exercises and basically trying to break you. And then they make you run to the barracks. And you know, I remember this girl, her, I think her name, first name is Brianna, but she was definitely like dehydrated, like falling out, whatever. And I just decided, you know what, like, no battle buddy left behind. So I went back and I got her and I was just like, you got this, like if I have to carry you, I'll carry you. So that was the start of basic training. I guess a lot of people don't love basic training, but if I could go back and do basic training over and over and over again, I would because my drill sergeants were so funny. They were, they really instilled a lot of lessons. They actually seemed like they cared. That's hard I guess to find sometimes and not listening to other people's experiences. So I felt very, I felt valued, I felt seen. Coming into that fear of the unknown, like I was going into it and I really didn't think too much about it and then I was in it and I was like, what did I do, you know? And I feel like maybe a lot of our travelers feel that way sometimes. They come into these nursing assignments and they're like, oh my gosh, what did I get myself into? Like, where am I at? Like, this is so scary, why did I leave? Like my cushy home and my stability, like this hospital's crazy. And then it ends up being the best experience you ever have. It's really um, interesting because at my basic training graduation, my drill sergeants, we had like a reception dinner and all this good stuff and our families could come and meet our drill sergeants and talk to them. And my drill sergeants looked at my mom and said, is she this bossy at home? And my mom said, well, why do you think one of us is here? <laughs> so I always thought that was really funny. And this is what I mean, my, my drill sergeants were really funny. And then actually when I was down in airborne school, I was walking one day with my brother and like I just hear somebody yelling out of a car window just yelling my last name and it, it's a car full of my drill sergeants from Fort Leonard Wood they were down there for some training or something and it was just such a fun reunion one of my AIT instructors I went to AIT after basic training um, also still at Fort Leonard Wood but he uh, was actually stationed in Fort Carson with me and then so we were both deployed at the same time so I got to see him on deployment and it's just fun to see like someone who helped shape and mold and teach you and mentor you, like see them in like a real world setting, you know, that type of situation. And I just always really appreciated that stuff. Taking that leap of faith, just going for it and just doing it ended up being one of the best things I could have ever done. And so when you're thinking about, I'm so scared, I don't wanna go on this assignment or what do I do? I'm not gonna know anyone, I'm not gonna know anything. The best experiences are gonna come from it. Some of the worst experiences are gonna come from it, just like they did for me in the military, but it's always totally worth it.